Hey guys, on today's video I'm going to teach you how to update to the latest 9.3. Okay, so this video is the same thing whether you have an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch, okay? So first of all, go into your settings. From your settings, all you guys have to do is scroll down and go to general. But before we do that, please, please go to iCloud and make your backup. So go into iCloud down here below and go into backup. Once you're in backup, make that backup, do it manually, okay? Manually backup your phone. Now, if you're in iOS 8 or 7 or something like that and you're making the jump to iOS 9, back it up twice. So back that means back it up on your computer using iTunes and back it up on iCloud, okay? Um, iTunes on your computer, you don't need to worry about those 5 gigs that you have that limit with iCloud. You do not have a limit once you back it up on iTunes on your computer. So if you're worried about not having space to back up your phone, just hook it up to your computer and use iTunes, which is a free program. Anyways, let's get on with this. So going to general, under general, going to software update. So once you're there, just click on download then you might need to put in your password. If you don't have one, don't worry about that. And um, yeah, you guys can't use the fingerprint thing, so you guys will have to put the password. Once you put in the password, you guys will have this where you have to tap on agree down here below. And once you do that, just tap on agree again, and then it's gonna start downloading. So it downloads and then installs. So this shouldn't take that long. It's a small update, it's not a huge update. Your your screen will go black, um, your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch will reset and then everything's gonna work just fine. So usually I don't recommend, well, usually I, I don't insist on making two backups since uh, this is a small update. But again, um, it is a little bit bigger than the tiny ones that we had from before. So that's why I really, really recommend making that iCloud backup at least, at the very least, okay? Um, so I'm gonna show you quickly what you guys are gonna get here. So with iOS 9.3, there's Night, night Shift. So Night Shift, it, it, it's just like a color. It just makes your screen a little bit warmer so you guys can sleep better or something like that. We'll see if that actually is true and works. Um, you can put right here a code. So if you don't want somebody accessing your notes, you can put another code on it with your fingerprint. I guess that could be useful for some. And you have your health app and another big update, CarPlay. And the last one, it's mostly for schools and iPads, which they added this. Um, obviously, before we had this program, kind of, they just improved it, okay? So if you're in a school and you're a teacher, you can manage the iPads that you give out much easier now so it, it is better I have to say with this new update um, and that's for iPads not iPhones and that's about it it's not it's not a huge 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 update but they did add some stuff to it and that's why I told you guys to make that uh, backup because you will need it anyways right now it's saying that it's gonna take 22 minutes we will see exactly how it's gonna how long it's gonna take I doubt it's gonna take 22 minutes it should take about 10 um, it does re depend on your internet speed as well. So make sure you do have um, at least more than 50% of your battery and hook it up, okay? Just hook up your iPhone, your iPod, iPod Touch to some electricity, to your computer, somewhere that you can charge up if it's not at 50. Even if it's at 50, 51, 52, 55, hook it up. You don't want it to die. If it dies along the process, you will have to restore your iPhone using iTunes because you will get a huge glitch or um, other things can happen, but usually software glitches. So you can easily fix those just by restoring them using iTunes on your computer. So to avoid that happening, which is annoying, just have it plugged in and don't let your device die when it's downloading and especially installing the whole update. Because so once it's downloading, it's not a huge deal, but uh, when it's installing the software, then it's a big deal. Anyways, we'll wait and see what happens. So afterwards, you're actually gonna get this loading bar twice. The second time, it's gonna be a lot faster. The first time, it's gonna take quite a while, and the second time, as you can see, will load a lot faster. Um, on the second time, you will get a flash on your screen, so it's gonna go from black and then to white again, and then you will see this logo plus this loading bar. From there, you guys will see this. It's just saying hello, and you have to slide setup, put maybe your password, 
after you put in your password, it's going to say update completed and you just have to tap on continue. So just tap in continue, put in your password again for your iCloud ID, which is the same thing as your App Store ID, just in case. Once you go next, it's going to go update iCloud settings. Now, this isn't a big deal. Um, all you guys have to know is your password. And then it's going to take a little bit to update everything. It shouldn't take that long technically. So far, we just waited 15 to 20 minutes. So it is kind of a long update. And let's just put get started. And that's it. That's the entire update. It's going to be the exact same thing for your iPad, iPod, or iPhone, whichever one you have. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you. Thank you.